They kind of their deck doesn't really do anything besides attack. They all think before they float. That's kind of all their deck does is attack. I smell panic. Such unrefined style. We know one of the cards in hand is a Rek'Sai. Yeah. Okay. There we go. As I expected. Good Fiora win. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Fiora Z going to be our next deck that we're uh, testing out for ranking up. Really liked how that Gangplank's Fate deck felt. Let's try this one out. So this is going to be a deck that's really based on our champions. We only have 14 units, six of them being the champions, so only eight others. Lots of spells. We'll have the Egghead Researchers that can do a little bit of blocking and make a dragon, but really it's about our champions because then besides the champions, we have Blade Keepers, and Blade Keepers are just going to be... Uh, really buffing our champions, right? <laughs> so they're not going to do much without the champions. And then just some Shadow Assassins to draw uh, some cards and just be an elusive blocker. Also got a couple of Remembrance in here for like if we don't have the champions, that could be another threat to have. But anyway, back to our champions. We got Zed, we got Fiora. They're both three mana 3-2s three that, uh, that are great at attacking, can really dominate the game. Zed can finish the game very fast by just attacking a whole lot. And of course, Fiora wants to challenge a bunch of things. Uh, to win the game that way. Uh, we have two field promotion that we can give our champion scout. So kind of best case scenario is we have the attack token round three. We go field promotion, give them scout, especially Zed, give Zed scout in particular, attack multiple times with it. And then we have cards like Cataclysm, Relentless Pursuit, Golden Ages, lots of ways to rally so we can attack on our opponent's rounds. And if we have scout, whenever we rally and attack on their round, with the scout, then we get to attack again. And so that's what the deck's gonna be all about. We got sharp sights and twin disciplines is great uh, spells. Uh, Chain vest, rush, give us a couple of one mana spells. You know, rush is gonna be really good with Fiora. With that quick attack in the plus one plus zero. Uh, and then some other barriers. Two prismatic, one spirits refuge, one repose. Some other barriers for interaction, a couple of denies. That's the deck. So let's get to it. Let's play some Fiora Zed. Here we go. Zillion Echo. Don't love this matchup. They're going to have plenty of Mystic Shots and things like that. So none of these are champions. I could actually see kind of keeping these two, even though they're not the champions. One, because that draws. That makes another dragon. Usually, we would mulligan everything looking for the champions, but this matchup, I could see keeping these two. Yeah, let's do it. We got a prismatic preparations. Mm. They got the hand, round two zillion. Hitting a drop order. Things are looking pretty good for them right now. I'm gonna... And they hit Lurk? What? Card on top is a Lurker. Oh, they must be playing the Lurk predict card. Three mana Lurk predict. Must have that thing. Wait. Wow, second zillion. That's great. Now, when am I? That's new. You're provoking it. Carefully, researchers. There's no rush. Dragon is such fascinating creatures. Five. 
played a lot of cards. They're down to just three. I think I'm gonna wait on. Yep, there's the three mana lurker. I'm gonna wait on this remembrance until we have something die. The more we learn, the less we fear. Ooh, I love Enviola's Fox. Now, what made you jump like that? Let's try to kill this Echo. Technically, that thing can grow. I will play my part. I wanted to protect against Mystic Shot. It's not that likely that they have Mystic Shot now. With it just being one card now. Well, I guess now it's two cards, because they just drew... What did they just draw from? Was that a time trick? Yeah. Well, I hope they don't have Mystic Shot. I don't want to give them zero mana time trick with their deck, obviously. Is attacking with Vox plus Sharp Sight, that would make it a 6, 8, or sorry, 7, 8. It would make a 7, 8 blocking here. Is that worth it? 7, 8, so it takes 4, then, so it's going to have 5 health. I yeah, I think that's worth it. You'll still have 5 health. Don't touch that. Okay, cool. So I probably want to keep this challenger around. Could chain vest up the Swiftwing Lancer. Yeah, they have eight time bombs in their deck. So it took something super fast. Probably a champ. You know, it's probably either a champion or a time bomb. The order rewards its faithful. I've seen the future, and I know my path. Shadow. Wait. Oh, kills an enemy each round. Hmm. Well, that was a bad plan. Cavalry, to the field. Must die.
Cards, what's up? I could give Sithri a scout. New tech, new tricks, new day, new zone. Or I just hold up Cataclysm. I'm playing Sithria right now, obviously. Well, I guess not obviously. Because I could play this Golden Ages, so it has the barrier. And it still strikes. If I go Golden Ages on what? On the Vox? Okay, so they played, they played two Kahiri, three Zillion, and two Echoes. Killing that before it levels up. Do your worst. Is this just a give up attack or what? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, it's the. Duh, it's. Chrono Break. Right. The, the exact copies? They are not exact copies. So that 4 6 turned into a 1 3. Yeah, I think this kills this. I mean, it could be game, like if they just have another like Hexite Crystal or something to kill me. I guess that's what they're saying. Yeah, Chrono Breaks awesome. Okay. Mm. Yep. Good game. GG's Chrono Break. GG's. Yes, can you redeem four decks for the same day? Absolutely, on unhelpful Yoda. Yes, I have done that before uh, with people. Absolutely. My like Shadow Assassin drawing a card, but it's going to die immediately to go hard, but it does replace itself. Looks like go hard's getting popular. Love it, love the scout. Where do you stand on cold shots? Wait a minute. Scratched. Be nothing left when I'm done. Because of the scout. Whenever we like cataclysm. This'll send them running. Let's 
gonna take that and pass. Keep up, keep up. Please don't have Monster Harpoon. Yes. It's a risk. It's always a risk. Alright, so they're down to five. Can still only play one protection spell. Which is kind of a bummer. Couple of y'all are lagging. I don't know why. It says everything's pretty good on my side, it looks like. So I'm not exactly sure why that would be. Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. Just run while you can. Send him off! Oh, they found a harpoon. Oh, that's too bad. Gotta go with the flow. Silent as death. Let's do this. You cannot escape. Always man short. Dead men tell my tale. Is that so? The order rewards its faithful. Does two damage. Shadow. I don't want to put like a Spirit's Refuge on this also because of like Vengeance, because I could definitely see them just playing a Vengeance right now. Yeah, not surprised there. So now I'm hoping they don't have another Vengeance for this thing. That I should have should spirits refuge first. Heal me in. Soak it in. Oh gosh, that was a great Doom Beast. It's a great team beast. Looks like they won. Must die. We live here. 
I'm I'm sorry. I've been a little little distracted. I've been distracted during this game, looking at that stuff. I I feel like I could have done a better job in this game than what I have. I've had a couple of clutch Doom Beasts though, but that that Monster Harpoon was at the perfect time, also. Nothing but the stink of blood and sweat. Get to work. Barrel. Explosives. I don't think I'm winning this. Like a fish in water. <laughs> this is probably my best chance of winning it, though. Okay, we got a pretty good shot now again. Back up to 14. And we got some dragons and everything. Okay. We have a good shot. Oh man, they're gonna level up the Swiss today, aren't they? I think we start here. Eight out of nine. I really want to play other stuff before attacking, but I guess I got to do this. Man, I really want to do other stuff before attacking. Ooh, that's a good sign. Okay. That's a good sign. Dragons, such fascinating creatures. That'd be the second Gohan. Hmm. Okay. played all three Gohards now. And I'm passing here instead I'm not playing because I want to have like spell mana after I do stuff, but I want to play like Zed or Fiora and then Eclipse Dragon. I think that's my plan. Oh, the Dreadway. Alright, do I have to lead with Eclipse Dragon? No, I don't want to lead with Eclipse Dragon, do I? Okay, what are you so you're a 4-3 right now. You can be a 5-4. I have like a million cards over here. They have to be scared of spells, don't they? The yeah, they're scared. I am the blade in the darkness. I don't change fate, but I can see it. They would fall by my blade. So that's the last gangplank over there. You pay first. Why can't I do one more point of damage? Obviously worried about a potential pack your bags. Deal in ten. If they did something else first, you know, I was gonna be able to play this dragon and, and kill them with the dragon. That's still my plan. No, the those clutch doombies. 
Ah, oh, man, those clutch doombies. So yeah, they they had it all. Ezreal Karma. So we had a couple of very good, real long games for our deck. Neither one went our way, quite went our way, but they were really good games. I like this hand against Ezreal Karma, I like having a deny. To go along with this Zen. Cool, Chain Vest, I like Chain Vest 2 here. And this is a this is not a great Fiora matchup. They don't play as many threats and things like that, so this is a this is a much better Zed matchup. I'm glad that we have the Zed. Okay, let's play let's lead with Shadow Assassin. Couple fallen felines. I'll give me four mana to protect. Yeah, that's good. Four mana to protect Zed. So I'll have both twin disciplines and sharp sight available. Also chain vest. If they just go Will of Ionia, I have Deny. Mystic Shot, maybe we'll just go Chain Vest. Can't, I would love to do Cataclysm, but I can't do Cataclysm because then if I do, then they can, you know, Mystic Shot or Thermo Beam or something like that. That does two and then one. Okay. With a little time, I'll have a breakthrough. All right, so far so good. Let's just go ahead and attack. This would level up Zed. So deny is going to be just basically just for Will of Ionia, right? That's going to be like the only thing that I I'm going to keep deny open for that card. And there is that card. We will deny. They have to have. Okay, well there we go. I was going to say they have to have an enemy for the Cataclysm to work. All right, back in the wind column. One and two. Order. Lurkers. Lurkers can be tough. It's gonna be difficult for Fiora. This is gonna be more of a Zed type thing. I kind of want one of my champions. I think I'm gonna mulligan all these. I really wanna look for one of my champions. Okay, unfortunately it's Fiora. Not Zed. I really wanted Zed. Zed could outrace him. Their power the powers just get so big for Fiora. Alright, good repost. Oh, 
I never on guard. Hmm. It's gonna take two damage, so just a sharp sight should do. They should really be targeting the thing that's it's challenging, right? So that I won't I won't get the kill. Still, it's, it's going to be hard to get four kills with Fiora. Good news is they have to attack in order to lurk. I like that protege right there. So, like, they can't... Oh, they are attacking. I say they can't attack. Oh, because then that gets the plus one. Hmm. Never mind. What's up, Jack? I pass, they pass. All right, so that's that's one, that's one, this is one. Yeah, I should I should play the Shadow Assassin. It's okay. I do like how that puts Fiora back in the deck, which Fiora is a great draw, because Repose is going to be a great draw for this. Too easy. The dark beckons. Ask me about dragons, I just may have an answer. Wow. Oh God. All right, so that's three. Uno mas. Just need one more. Really hoping the prismatic barrier helps me out. <laughs> Unfortunately, that was probably the worst card in our deck to draw. They kind of their deck doesn't really do anything besides attack. They all sink before they float. That's kind of all their deck does is attack. I smell panic. Such unrefined style. <laughs> we know one of the cards in hand is a Rek'Sai. Yeah. Okay. There we go. As I expected. Good Fiora win. Lulu Jinx. This deck's all pretty good. We're two and two. Could pretty easily be four and zero. Oh. Both losses were good, close games. We're like you know real close games that you know didn't go our way, but easily could have. Send it all back looking for a champion. I think I'll like Fiora for this matchup. Lulu Jinx. That sounds like they're going to be playing some smaller units. But then again, they're going to be quite aggressive. So hopefully, hoping they don't kill us too fast. Or too furious. Alright, not sure about that deny. Good hand. They're make, gonna make four four flame chompers. I should have played the Shadow Assassin. Oh, I should have played the Shadow Assassin. I don't really want to. 
I don't really want to spend. I should. Yeah, I really should have played the Shadow Assassin. I don't really want to spend the cards here too. To not get a kill. That was that was a mistake. Should have played Shadow Assassin. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. I kind of was just set on playing the Fiora. Once they played the Lulu, I really needed to pivot. I didn't pivot. That could cost me this game. Strike quickly, strike deftly. <laughs> oh God. That was a good play by them with the plus zero, plus three, instead of the plus three, plus zero. Forces me to go this way. And not heal my health, which I guess it would have been about the same. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just pretty dead. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just dead. All right, so the, the Shadow Assassin play cost me this. Not playing the Shadow Assassin when I didn't. But even if I would have done that, I still would basically be in the same spot. I just would have like a different card and I'd have a better Fiora. I would have basically had two more cards. I would have had another card in hand that would have drawn from the Shadow Assassin and I would have had a Repost in hand, which would have been helpful. But yeah, this is just exact, this is lethal. That was a very good aggressive hand for them. Good. Oh, so they didn't go for lethal. They could have had lethal. Yeah, they have that. Yeah, wonderful hand. Good game. Okay, so I like how our deck felt. You know, like that that last hand that my opponent had, that's beating everything, right? Like that was just a perfect hand. Um yeah, there's, we're not playing any, like, that would have beat Gangplank's fate. That would have beat any deck that I'm playing. So no no shame there. Not not shamed of losing that one. Um, but the other four, I really like how our deck felt. We, we were able to play some really good, close, long games. Um, against the uh, Twisted Fate deck, I shouldn't have used my Deny as early as I did. I denied a, with, a Withering Whale that I should have waited on. Um, but even, you know, even with that... Right, like we had them down to one, and we were at eleven, and they had to have exactly what's it called? Go hard. The third go hard. Pack your bags. That's what I was thinking. They had to have pack your bags plus Doom Beast, and unfortunately, they had that because otherwise, we were gonna kill them. Anyway, yeah, I, I really liked how this deck felt. I think that the Fiora Zed get those early. You can protect them. They can they can do different things. Yeah, I'll have to try some more of this deck because your games are gonna be pretty fast in general. We saw that with those last three. The first two were longer games because we didn't have a Fiora or a Zed right away. But I like how this deck felt. I think I like Shadow Assassin more than River Shaper, but that could def this could definitely be River Shaper. I, I, elusives are really important right now, so being able to block elusives is really nice. But then again, the one health is really a downside against uh, different things like we saw against the Gohards or against like Mega Rain, that kind of stuff. Um... So there's there's pluses and minuses to Shadow Assassin and River Shaper. But if you if you want to play River Shaper, go ahead. We didn't get to field promotion anything, and honestly, field promotion's pretty cute. Maybe more cute than good. Very possible that the field promotions should just be cards like Nopify. Or um, you know, just kind of other you know, other protection spells, like you can play another prismatic barrier more repost golden ages all that kind of stuff spirits refuge um to help out against the aggro decks you know maybe those maybe that should be the field promotion maybe the field promotion is too cute but i like trying it out anyway those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button and let me know what you think of the deck let me know if you have any uh great takeaways for the deck i'll be appreciative to hear about those um, but as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video